So I'm Michelle Albahe. Um, this is Michael Myers. Um, oddly enough, we're the teachers that came without a PowerPoint. So um, <laughs> just because real quickly, um, we just wanted to say first, thank you so much for inviting us here. Um, we are looking at ways at using OpenStreetMap and all of the different um, data platforms that you guys are talking about into the classrooms, uh, how, how best to integrate them, I guess, into our curriculum, because we are teaching the kids that are going to be graduating and working for you guys, with you guys. Um, so what we're trying to do, um, and Mike is going to tell you a little bit about this in just a second, is getting them as familiar with the platforms, as familiar with OSM as early as possible. So um, Mike's actually used it in the classroom, so he's going to tell you about it now. Okay. Um, so, yeah. As exciting as the PowerPoint would have been with pictures of teenagers and Chromebooks in front of them, um, I actually did something that I never thought I would do again. Um, I went and taught middle school for a day um, and taught them OSM and how to use it and how it was applied. Um, one of the benefits of it was that it kind of made the connection between the STEM kids and the social studies kids, but it also worked for me as a recruiting tool for AP Human Geography. Um, the middle school students, it exposed them to a lot of things that they hadn't been exposed to prior to that, um, identifying the uses of GIS and remote sensing, um, and also it opened them up to development as the area that I teach in is rapidly growing in population. So in terms of the kids when they were mapping, um, they were actually mapping in some cases places that didn't exist on the map because their house wasn't there. Um, now, I will say thank you to those people that commented. Um, I did run into one roadblock for anyone teaching middle school students. Um, you're brave, but first, um, there are limits to what they can do on Wi-Fi, so teaching them, um, I should have planned ahead and had them log in to OSM the day before. Um, and many of them ran into troubles with, at, with getting the confirmation email because they can't check their email, so they logged in as me. Um, I was greeted with lots of messages about like, nope, that wasn't what you were supposed to. Yeah, I know, we're fixing it. Um, but uh, one of the things that we've uh, also done is I've used OSM with my high school students, and this is actually making a connection with um, the high school students and the middle school students, but more specifically, um, we've got a nationally recognized um, STEM program at the high school, and I'm starting to work with the STEM uh, teacher to incorporate the STEM program in with the AP Human Geography program in terms of mapping, um, looking at computer programming, um, and GIS. Um, along with that, we've started um, a service, we've started, uh, sorry. There we go, that's the term. Uh, we started service-based learning um, through College Board and AP, they've got a new program called We Service, um, and the program focuses on service-based learning, which is academically structured as opposed to just community service. Um, for human geography specific, it's focused on hunger issues. So we're using it to map out first locally um, where food sources are located, grocery stores, um, farmers markets, things of that nature, um, and trying to identify food shortages and food deserts. And then our plan is to develop that into a service project and then expand upon looking um, internationally at food needs and where those needs are located and how we can address those needs. I think that's yeah, it. And then just basically we, you know, both of us and all the teachers here, we really look forward to talking with all of you guys and help us, um, please. help us, <laughs> please help us, no, but help us, you know, help the kids um, understand and, and to be able to use the platforms because they get excited when they understand what goes into making that map that we're showing them. They really, really get excited. You know, if they if they know, um, you know, how uh, when you guys were showing the, the map about the corporations and, you know, where um, they were doing the data, if we could show them how that happened, how we got there, how that map looks the way that it looks, they really start to get into it. And everything is, is data and everything is geography now. So um, that's our job. So please help us as much as possible. Thank you so much. Yeah.